Hey everybody, it's Faith from Firestone Tarot. Hope everybody's well. Oh wow. Okay. Capricorn, we're going to do your January round two reading. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it is your journey, not mine. Just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. You can check your moon rising and your Venus sign readings. If you think you might want something that might resonate a little bit better, but keep in mind time and energy are both fluid. All things can be vice versa. Might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And our dear friends, the cross watchers are always welcome at the fire sign table. Table. Everybody's always welcome at my table. I appreciate y'all stopping by to say hello to little me. If you're new, think we might vibe and stuff. You can hit the subscribe button, the notification bell. That'd be super cool. If you're returning, welcome back. Thanks for stopping back by. I need to address this. Four of Swords. Somebody is tired. Somebody is is tired and drained as f. I'm going to put these right here. Okay. Where was I? Oh, anybody can hit the like button at any time. It all helps the channel. It all helps the, the videos to be circulated to those who need the messages. Never make a life faltering decision based on a tarot reading. And once again, if it's not your story, not your reading, not your message, leave the cards on the table and walk away. It may not have been meant for you. We're going to hop right into this. Princess of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Huh. Okay. Mmm. at the Knight of Pentacles. Split at the Ace of Pentacles. Could be some Earth energy coming at you. Sun reversed. One second, I have to quiet some children down. Sorry about that. Okay. Water. Get back where you belong. Somebody's over it and somebody's not. I'm telling you that right now. Talk to me about Capricorn. Alright, I need a little bit of clarity here. Talk to me about Capricorn and the person they're dealing with. On the wheel, please. This didn't come together. You're over it. You're done. You're ending it because it's not coming together. Why is the Seven of Wands here for how you feel about the person you're dealing with? Why the Seven of Wands for how Capricorn feels about the person they're dealing with? Why the Seven of Wands? Why the Seven of Wands? Tell 
Temper uh, Empress reversed, King of Wands reversed. It's not growing. There's no potential here. There's nothing to move forward toward. Okay. Why the Prince of Cups for what you think of them? Why is the Prince of Cups here for what Capricorn thinks of the person they're dealing with? Why the Prince of Cups? Star and the Queen of Pentacles reversed. Why the star? Page of Swords, Page of Swords. Internal battles, internal struggles. Low self-worth, need to heal, one more. Possibly a slightly immature communicator. I'm not throwing shade. I'm reading cards. Page of Cups. Yeah. A whole lot of talk. A little bit of action. Or if there is action, it's retracted. In and out. In and out. In and out. Okay. Let's go over them before we get down to here. Why is the tower reversed here? Who Capricorn's dealing with? Why the tower reversed? Why the tower reversed? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Really? Ten of Pentacles reversed five swords. Bang. They could be waiting for an opportunity to come back and try to rebuild this. Why the Ten of Swords reversed? It's not over, I'm telling you that. Not in their eyes. Oh, Page of Pentacles reversed. They want celebration with you. They want to build a foundation with you, but they know you're not over it. You're still upset. You're not talking. You're not offering anything. You feel backstabbed and betrayed. Why the high priestess reversed for what they think of you? Just to clarify, this isn't what I think of you. This is what they think of you. And it's only potential. Why the high priestess reversed? Typically, it means a little bit of an ego wound going on, or truths being told. Seven of Cups reversed. Miscommunication, possibly. Confusion. King of Swords. Logical thinker, not emotional. Three of Swords, heartbroken. Your heart broken, confused, made a non-emotional choice. Possibly a little bit of an ego wound, but... Two 
five swords, lots of swords, lots of swords, lots of swords. You made a decision with all the clarity that you had. You made a decision with the knowledge that you had. You're heartbroken. Okay. Your intended actions, hanged man. The hanged man is like, you know what, I'm done. <laughs> I'm taking a step back. I'm seeing things from a new perspective. King of Pentacles, reverse, page of wands. Why the King of Pentacles reversed? Queen of Swords, this is not what I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Down the sword goes. What are their intended actions toward you? <clears throat> the moon. Ha! I don't want this to be over, but I'm going to keep you in the dark. I feel like I'm keeping you in the dark. One more. Of cups. You can't work toward happiness with lies and secrets. If the foundation crumbled before, you can't rebuild. Not on lies and secrets. reversed. Wow. Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. We're going to address this. Dang. Humbling. Neediness. I'm going to, I'm going to stop doing all the stuff I'm doing. I think they're going to stop at nothing to try to rebuild this. I don't think they know how they're going to do it. Why the moon? Why the moon? priestess. <laughs> I don't think they know how they're going to do it either. Sun reversed at the bottom of the deck. I don't think they're going to stop though. Why the princess of wands for the outcome for you? Eight of pentacles. Working on you. Working on your path. Doing your thing. One more. Alright, one second please. Strength fell out. Sorry. I see you staying strong and just working on you. Trudging forth on your path, doing your thing. One more. Two of Cops path, like going after something new. Why the Two of Swords? Why the Two of Swords? The outcome for their side. Why the Two of Swords? I have a cups reversed. Ace of Swords. Cups reversed. They're keeping they're gonna keep their emotions guarded. They may say they're going off and doing something new or starting something new, but I feel like it's all talk. They're still very... Their emotions are going to be extremely guarded. King of Cups, bottom of the deck, poker face. Alright. Communicate our truth. No new start. Off to do something new. And build new foundations and distance yourself because things are never going to change. This is a soulmate gig. All right. Lack of happiness. Lack of foundation. Walls going up. 
trying to think about how to build that foundation. Talking, 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 communicating. Inevitably stuck behind a closed door. Final judgment made. All right, let's get a moonology. Let's get to moonology. Conclusions are within reach. Let's get a wisdom. Let's get to wisdom from my Capricorn friends. Oh, hi. Regeneration. Number 46. Four plus six is ten. Ten is endings and new beginnings. Endings, beginnings, conclusions. Nice. Moonology. Full moon eclipse. Full moon eclipse, and just like that, a door slams shut. If you've pulled this card, it suggests that the situation you're asking about Okay, whoa. I read that wrong. It suggests that the situation you're asking about is to reach its peak. Or has just done so. And things are now out of your hands. What you're experiencing now is what your soul signed up for. A way for you to learn and for your soul to evolve. So allow events to unfold and be easy on yourself. If you're letting go of someone or something, now is the right time, as hard as it might be, forgiving someone for what they did could be key to resolving the situation in a positive way. It doesn't make right what they did, but it releases it so you can move on. Regeneration, number 46. Rebirth, second chances, new opportunities. Second chances are available to you now. Whatever opportunities you thought were dead are now revived in a more authentic, stronger form. Whatever you may have perceived as a failure or loss is now being replaced by something better and more powerful growing in its place. This rebirth is assured. Step into your new life. Destiny is being fulfilled in wondrous ways. Wow, Capricorn. Good job. All right. Let's see, it all turns out in the end. Have a heck of a rest of your January. Know that you're loved. Be blessed. Peace, love, and light. And I will catch you guys in your next reading.